Do you want to have a look at the features of POSP aka Potato Open Source Project on the Stormy Poco F1? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and in this video, we're going to have a look at the features of POSP on the Xiaomi Poco F1 and once we're done with the features, I will show you how you can install POSP on the Xiaomi Poco F1. This is how POSP comes out of the box. You have Android 9.0 Pi recents in the building and you also have Launcher Launcher. Let us go ahead, open the app drawer and see what all applications come pre-installed with POSP. So you have your calculator, calendar, ASOP camera, clock, contacts, email, files, FM radio, gallery, Google Play Store was installed with Nano Google Apps, your stock ASOP messaging app and the phone application. These are all the applications which come pre-installed with POSP. All the other applications which you see were installed by me and do note that camera to API is enabled which means you can go ahead and install your Google Pixel 3 camera application which is working like a boss and night sight also works. Other than that if you want to use 4K 60fps, you can install the MIUI camera as well. Go into video, three bar menu on the top right, go into settings, video quality, and there you have it, 4K 60fps and 1080p 60fps unlocked and working like a boss. And last but not the least, if you want to take pictures and videos using the front IR camera on the POCO F1, you can also install the camera IR application. All of these applications and videos for these are linked in the description of this video. Let us now open the settings application. Nothing much to talk about then network and internet and Bluetooth devices. Price is something wherein you have all the customizations for POSP. We will talk about that later. Then you have apps and notifications. We've already talked about all the applications which come baked in. We have time spent in applications. So here you can see how much time you've spent in certain applications and you can also set a timer for those applications. If we go into notifications, you have on lock screen, so you can decide what all notifications you want on the lock screen. Then you have allow notification dots, blink light, notification sounds. If we click on advanced, we have default app. So from here, you can set your default applications in case you have multiple launchers, multiple phone apps, multiple SMS applications. Then you have app permissions. So if I go ahead and click on call logs, these are all the applications which have access to call logs and I can disable those applications from here. Similarly, you have permissions for microphone, the phone application, SMS, storage, additional permissions. Let us now check out the battery section. You have your battery saver. So if you're not near a charging point, you can enable your battery saver and it will extend your battery life. You also have the option of turning it on automatically at a specific battery level. Right now it is set to 15. You can always go ahead and change it to whatever you like. Next up, we have battery manager. This is something Google added with Android 9.0 Pi, wherein it will detect applications which are draining battery and then you have the option to restrict those applications from draining your battery or if you want you can go ahead and uninstall that application. Other than that you have your last full charge and screen on time in the battery settings. Let us now go into display. You have your brightness level. You can set your brightness level. You have night light. You can go ahead and schedule the time when you want night light to be on and also when it should turn off automatically. Next up, we have adaptive brightness. Again, something which Google added with Android 9.0 Pi, wherein the phone learns your brightness preferences in certain environments. Once you're back in that specific environment, the brightness will automatically adjust to that level. Next, we have wallpaper. Let's go ahead and click on live wallpapers. We have the Google Pixel 3 live wallpapers, which I installed. Click on this guy, click on set wallpaper, home and lock screen both, click on the home button. So it is working absolutely fine on the home screen and it is working on the lock screen as well. Back into display, let us now click on advanced. You have your expanded desktop. From here, you can choose certain applications in which you want to hide nothing, the status bar, the navigation bar, or hide both. So all the applications will show up over here and you can decide in what application you want to hide a navigation bar, status bar, or if you want to hide both or none. 
next we have sleep so you can decide after how many minutes you want your screen to go to sleep whether you want auto rotate on or not you can change your font size and you can also change your display size whether you want a screensaver or not you also have ambient display in the building so whenever you have a new notification your screen will wake and you can also set your screen to wake up when you lift your phone next we have double tap to wake which is working absolutely fine moving over to sound you do not have anything new in sound but you do have your android 9.0 pi style ui wherein you can use this guy to change your media volume and this guy to change your ringer preferences going into security and location your fingerprint scanner is working absolutely fine pen is working absolutely fine smart lock enter your pen and if you click on trusted face ir face unlock is working like a boss and you can also go ahead and set up voice match wherein you can use the keyword on your screen to unlock your phone next up we have xiaomi doors so you can enable your ambient display and you can also enable your lock screen to wake up when you pick the phone hand wave or when you remove your phone from your pocket i've tested all these three things and they're working absolutely fine let me go ahead and lock my phone replicate a hand wave and bam the lock screen just woke up next up we have digital well-being something which google added with android 9.0 pi baked right into posp so you can track how many times you've unlocked your phone and how much time you're spending in certain applications if you want to limit the time you want to spend in those applications you can use app timers from in here and you can also set wind down wherein you will get limited notifications when it is your sleeping time nothing much to talk about in system because the settings which were supposed to be in system like gestures are in fries and we're going to discuss that next as for the n22 benchmark score this is the benchmark score which i got on posp but as i always say do not judge a rom by its benchmark scores go ahead and use it all right peeps let's go into fries and see the customizations which posp gives us first up is status bar and status bar first setting is clock settings whether you want to see the clock and date whether you want smart clock so it will go ahead and show the clock periodically whether you want to see am pm and not whether you want to see the date or not and the different style and format options for date next we have battery icon so you can customize your battery icon style and if you choose portrait where do you want the battery percentage next to the icon inside the icon then whether you want to see the roaming indicator and whether you want to see the volt icon or not next up in fries we have quick settings which is all customization for your quick settings panel this guy over here so with how many rows and columns you want and quick quick settings pull down as if you have set it up as right like i have right now if i pull from right it is expanded if i pull from left hand side it is not expanded whether you want the brightness slider at the bottom or not right now it is at the top enable this guy bam move to the bottom whether you want the adaptive brightness button or not which is this button over here go ahead and disable it and bam it disappeared and you can also customize where you want the adaptive brightness button on the right or on the left and whether you want the brightness control buttons which is the plus and minus sign next up we have themes so posp has their own settings for themes it is not in display accent color go ahead and click on this guy your ui will restart and bam the accent color change to orange next up we have the base theme color you can change between stock data pixel and stock i'm not sure what this option does then we have device theme you can change it to light dark or automatic based on the wallpaper let's change it to dark wait for the ui to restart and bam dark theme all around the xiaomi poco f1 working like a boss next up we have corners so you can use this guy to change the corners if you have a look at the bottom and top right and left you will see the corners moving and you can also use the corner content padding to move the content so if you have a look at it right now you will see the clock and battery icon moving if you do not like that you can use the framework values and it will go back to default next up you have quick settings colors so you can change the background color right now it is white let me disable this guy the ui will restart and the color will change to green you can also change to transparency it does take some time for the changes to kick in but it definitely works the next option in fries is display cutout settings which is my favorite option for posp you have three options to control the notch so you have the normal style which is how it is right now everything white in the notch area 
your clock and battery and your other notification icons appear in the notch area next option you have is immerse wherein it will change to black it will hide the notch but the notch area will still be used to display your battery icon other notification icons and the clock and the last option in here is hide wherein it will totally hide the notch and the notch area will not be used to show your battery your time and other notification icons so a pretty nifty feature and i think this is the only rom which has these three modes as of now but pretty sure it's going to be merged into other roms as well the next option in fries is buttons and gestures so if you go into gestures one more time click on swipe up on home button go ahead and enable this guy you have your android 9.0 pi gestures in the building then you also have jump to camera wherein you can jump to the camera quickly by pressing the power button twice you also have lift to check phone and you also have prevent ringing the next option we have here is pixel animation so if right now it is enabled and bam you have the pixel animation on the home button if i disable this guy the pixel animation just disappeared next option is allow navigation bar if you want to hide the navigation bar and use a third party full screen gesture application because the rom does not have full screen gestures next up in buttons and gestures we have the power menu if we go ahead and enable the restart option we will now have the restart option in this power menu options whether you want advanced restart or not so you have your advanced option now and the next option is whether you want the screenshot option in the power menu or not this guy over here the last option in buttons and gestures is playback control wherein when your screen is turned off you can long press on the volume buttons to change your tracks the next option in fries is notifications so whether you want your heads up notifications or not what is the timeout for them and whether you want to snooze them or not then you have stop list and blacklist so stop list is if you add an application in the stop list it will not show heads up notifications in those applications and blacklist is if you add an application to the blacklist then heads up notifications from those applications will not show and the last option in fries is miscellaneous and over here you have your in call vibration options which include vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting vibrate on disconnect what is the temperature unit you want on your lock screen for the weather whether you want face auto unlock or not so you won't have to swipe as soon as you unlock your phone using the power button if it detects your phone it will automatically unlock whether you want double tap to sleep on the lock screen or not and whether you want double tap to sleep on the status bar or not all right peeps we will now go ahead and see how you can install usb rom on the xiaomi poco f1 do note you need to have an unlocked bootloader need to have twerp recovery installed and make sure you've backed up all your data because we're going to factory reset the xiaomi poco f1 as for the files which we need these are the four files which we need all of these are linked in the description of this video so you need the latest vendor you need the POSP rom itself you need open google apps i'm using the nano package and you need disable force encryption zip file next thing we need to do is we'll go into settings go into lock screen and password and make sure you have removed your fingerprint face unlock any pin or password which you have set up to unlock your phone once you have confirmed that go back scroll down go into me account remove your me account as well once you've confirmed that go back go into sync and if you have set up a google account remove that as well we are removing all security measures so that you do not get locked out of your xiaomi poco f1 because we're going from miui 10 to a custom rom once all of these things have been confirmed go ahead and power off your xiaomi poco f1 once you've turned your phone off press and hold the volume up button and at the same time press and hold the power button till you see the twerp recovery boot logo once we are into up recovery first thing we need to do is go into wipe go into advanced wipe click on dalvik cache system data swipe to wipe once the process has finished successfully click on the home button click on install and the first zip file which we need to flash is the poco f1 vendor the first file this guy over here select it and then swipe to flash once vendor zip file has flashed successfully click on the home button click on install the first zip file which we need to flash is the rom zip file so it will be potato beryllium select it then click on add more zips and click on the open google apps and then swipe to confirm the flash once rom and google apps have flashed successfully click on the home button click on install 
and now we need to flash the disable force encryption zip file this guy over here select it and then swipe to confirm the flash once disable force encryption has flashed successfully click on the home button click on wipe click on format data type in yes and do note this is where we are factory resetting your device and all your pictures videos data will be lost make sure you have backed them up once you've confirmed that click on the check mark button on the bottom right once the process has finished successfully click on reboot system and bam there we have it posp boot animation in the building which means we have successfully installed posp on a xiaomi poco f1 that's it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you